Hey y'all, this is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres, out here at the off-grid cabin again, and I was out here Thursday working inside, because it was raining like crazy, and it has been raining for two weeks. This is Saturday, May 23rd, and... You can see what the grass has done to the <laughs> to everything. Uh, when the last time we came out here and mowed, we didn't have the weed eater, and we couldn't get up in this area. So look at this. Um, it rained very little yesterday. It's not supposed to rain out here till this evening. So I'm gonna try to clean up this area around the cabin and over by the shower. And try to catch up on all this. At least make it look like somebody lives here. You guys know me. I hate when it looks like this. <laughs> but uh, that way, it's not supposed to rain Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday much. So Wednesday afternoon, the rest of this, I mean, I'm sloshing right now. The rest of this should be dry enough. That we can run the mower through here and try to knock all this down again and try to claim it. But it's like the last two years, you can't do anything out here because there's nothing but rain. I don't know. You know, we got to come up with a different plan, I guess. Uh, but fortunately, I, you know, I can sneak out here during the week and stuff now when it's dry. And try to knock some of this out. But I'm going to go to work with my... This is Joe's Landscaping Company. Whew, what a mess. Haven't got too much sense to put the roof on. But I'll try to shoot some video of me actually working. I'll be back. So this area back here, back behind the cabin... You can see, we, uh, I think in January or so, I came out here and cut a lot of this stuff. It was all briars and brambles, and you can see the mess over there. And it was all the way up to the cabin. I'm trying to clear this back so we can fence around here. Um, ran into tons of bricks. I don't know why all these bricks are back here, but all that's going to have to be cleared out, and <laughs> these stumps cut, but I'm going to clean up back here, try to get everything cleaned up, get stuff out of the way, and at least weed eat it uh, so that they don't start over again. I can't run the mower back here, but I can keep it cleaned. Until we can get a mower running back here. See, I did this part. So I haven't been just sitting around. But, uh, I got a brush hog. I got the brush hog weed eater here, too. To brush hog more back there. But, as long as I get this cabin area cleaned up, I'll be happy. So, let me go to work. cleaned up back in here that is some of the old fence left over that we're using for skirting I gotta let it dry out 
couple of those uh, poplar trees I got to buck up, but I'm gonna see how much of this I can get with the, the lawnmower, and then figure out what I got to weed eat after that. But it's gonna be nice because when we come out here to mow, we'll be able to just mow behind the behind the cabin with the uh, riding mower. That's the plan anyway. Too bad. I got a lot of it. Needs to dry out back there. Yeah, that's still pretty wet. But that was the hardest part. Alright, well, this is as much as I got done before I ran out of gas. And I went to get the gas can, and that's when I realized I brought the chainsaw gas uh, instead of the lawnmower gas. So, We'll be back out Tuesday to mow all of that. We can use the riding mower that and start burning up all that brush. Uh, and I can finish up up here 
getting this all cleaned up. But I will say, it looks a lot better. I'm happy with it. It's a lot of work. Uh, I want to get more done. But when you get old, you forget things or do dumb things. But I did get all the back here cleaned up. Like I said, I want to be able to ride the mower through here. And I'll use my uh, brush hog weed eater to clean more back here. See that white post? That's my property line. So, still got this to clean up, but that's going to take the brush hog. But yeah, it's hard work with an old push mower. But that was the only thing to use up here to get this cleaned up. So it wasn't a wasted day. I'm not coming out tomorrow because it's my son's Nick birthday. And my birthday is next week. Uh, in case you were wondering, I take gift cards, PayPal, uh, cash, just whatever you feel like. <laughs> Now, I uh, get to hit 63, and I'm going to do a video. On, well, I plan on doing a video one year of living on Social Security. But, I mean, you know, I still might do it, but it's been kind of messed up with the, the whole virus thing and stimulus checks and unemployment checks. So, I don't know. It's not a fair thing of you know retirement one year retirement but i might do a video just to celebrate it if nothing else and announce a big giveaway i'm getting close to fifteen thousand subscribers and uh i got a lot of stuff that you know lights and knives and solar powered battery banks and chargers that you know companies have sent me to do reviews on and i'll be giving all kinds of stuff away when I hit the 15,000. But, uh, yeah. Real happy. I'm ready to go home. This was a hot day. Beautiful sky. I love that. But, I did pretty much get done what I wanted to do. I like having all that cleaned out back there, finally. You know, we cut all that stuff down. And then winter came back. And the rains came. So it's been forever trying to get finished up out here, but maybe we'll get a few days without rain. But I hope you like this. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, tell me what color you think ought to paint the cabin too, because if we get a week of no rain, we're painting the cabin. Uh, well, that roof looks so pretty, now we got to paint it. But this is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.